this trailer so that I will be able to load it up with something very very special today something a lot of you guys have been waiting for for a very long time let me empty this and then I'm gonna hook it up to my mom's Jeep and then we'll get ready to go on the road So, just finished clearing the trailer. It's just past 6 a.m. Final result. Now I just gotta hook it up to the Jeep. Never done it before, so wish me luck. <laughs> Alright guys, we successfully made it to Huntington, or uh, we're in Irvine now. Took me about three hours to get here. Crazy. I left at 6.30 and it's now 9.40. So long drive, especially this is my first time driving with a trailer. We're now here at the training facility in Irvine with uh, Josh. So I'm gonna go ahead and meet up with Josh and get his vlog started as well, get some of the content he needs, and then uh, we'll get this day started. Alrighty, let's go. Made it. I was just gonna text you because I didn't know if you were going the right way, or like knew what side you're going. Yeah. Why don't we just start with uh, just kind of the dynamic warm up? Yeah. Ready? So I just arrived at Del Amo Motorsports in Orange County, Santa Ana, and I'm picking up a motorcycle, specifically Josh Heron's Yamaha XSR 700. Josh is giving me his motorcycle for the year. I will go into this in just a little bit. Let's go check out the bike. I am so excited. I can't, I can't wait. I, I really can't. Um, here, Josh bike. Oh. Here she is. What do you guys think? Look at that Gray's exhaust, all that piping. Pretty sweet. Big thank you to the guys at Del Amo Motorsports for uh, helping me load this bad boy up. Now it's off to uh, a three hour drive back home. I want to take this out to a location and get some shots of it. As you can see, I think I made a wise decision not to ride the bike home and to uh, get a trailer, which we already owned, and uh, trailer this thing home because this would have sucked. First time on the freeway, have a three hour ride back and it's in the rain, no thank you. Filming you. No. Yeah. I want to get. I want to get your reaction. Oh my gosh, Nick. This is it. <laughs> you want to see it up close? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's scary. What do you think of it, though? Yeah, it looks very good. All the thunder too. Yeah, makes it more dramatic. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Oh wow. Yeah. Looks very good though. Yes. You can thank or not thank Josh. No thank you. <laughs> Sorry Josh. Very kind of you though. <laughs> now I gotta unload it. There's no profile. <laughs> well those are street tires. I know. <laughs> no. They're also wet right now so. <coughs> These are brand new tires. Yeah? Yeah. They, I think they have zero miles on them so. It doesn't have like a screen. <laughs> no. It's the style. It came that way. Don't worry, I'm going to get all the gear. I hope so. <laughs> I drove by, uh, whoa. Alright guys, so it's now two days later. Don't mind the dog barking in the background, but it's two days later. I haven't really been able to film because of the rain, so this is now the first time that I've been able to take this bike out into sunlight, and it is beautiful. 
But I wanted to come out here and just talk a little bit about what I mentioned earlier with Josh giving me this bike for the year. I am so grateful for the fact that he's willing to give me this bike and we came to an agreement that I would create content for his channel rather than payment. And the reason for that being is because we were sitting in the car filming a vlog and he asked me, you know, what's holding you back from growing on YouTube? And in all honesty, like I run a motorcycle channel with no motorcycle, you know, which is kind of crazy and yeah. But anyways, so I told him, I was like, you know, I'm looking to get a motorcycle soon, but because I rely on other people's schedules and their motorcycles for content, it hinders my growth here on, on this platform. And so that's kind of the reason why I've been looking for a bike. But the reason why I accepted his offer is because I can afford a bike at the moment, but I wanna be able to buy a motorcycle with the money from the channel. And that's what it comes down to, and I'm not there yet. So Josh said, well, I'll give you the bike for about a year. We haven't really figured that out exactly, but um, he's letting me ride the bike. Insurance and all that stuff is all set up, so it's legal. And yeah, so I'm very excited that Josh is willing to able to do that for me. And I can't wait to start creating content for you guys on a regular basis. I seriously can't wait, it's gonna be so much fun. I will be getting a moto vlogging setup that will allow me to talk to you guys while I'm riding. I'm gonna to try to stay away from too much of the moto vlogging. I don't, I don't like all my footage to be on the road. I wanna incorporate the shots that I have, you know, of me riding on the road and other people. And I really hope to bring you guys content that you guys haven't seen before as far as moto vlogging goes. But on a second note, if you guys were watching my last video, I did a little exhaust clip and had you guys guess in the comment section, year, the make and the model, and then as well as the exhaust on the bike and if you guessed it right then I'd ship you a copy of Ride 3 and only one of you guys got it and that is KL Speed. You guessed it right, it's a 2018 Yamaha XSR 700 with Graves Exhaust. So send me a message on Instagram at Nick Vandervet and I will uh, get that copy of Ride 3 out to you whether it's Xbox or PS4 just let me know. But yeah um, that's it for today's video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to start creating more content for you guys. I'm hoping to upload at least two to three times per week. Let's see if I can do it. I'm excited. All right, guys, let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.